Hey guys, Randy Pike here from Tekken. Today I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset. We're going to use an RS Gen 2 for this one, but it's the same procedure across the board on all Tekken speed controllers. This is an important thing to know how to do because if you ever have a fault code that you're confident isn't caused by your settings, this will go in and reset the speed controller like it was brand new out of the box, defaulting all the defaults and clearing any fault codes should they actually be done by an incorrect setting. Now, for example, if you've ever had a data logger that doesn't seem to record the settings, this is also the first procedure that we're going to ask you to do in support. So it's an important thing to know how to do. What this does is it clears out all the memory locations in the speed controller and starts it from scratch. So when you're done with this, you're going to have to do a radio calibration and you're going to have to install the settings that you had installed previously. So if you need to write them down or save the speed controller profile, make sure you do that first. But it's a simple procedure and I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Make sure the speed controller is on. Simply hold down both buttons at the same time. It'll do a light and chime sequence. Once that starts, go ahead and let go. And go ahead and let it finish. Now, depending on your radio system, you may see three lights to one side, which just means you have to do a radio calibration. But in my case, neutral is acceptable, so the speed controller is going to just show me blinky mode, which this is my stock car. So it's going to go ahead and show me that. Now, understand, once you do this factory reset, all your settings that you had previously saved are not going to be there anymore. They're going to be back to factory defaults. Now, this speed controller is on V258. So, for example, it's going to be defaulted to two cell, reverse, reverse delay, motor type, etc. So when you're done with this, again, radio calibration, go ahead and reinstall your settings and you're back on the track. So again, if you're ever having a weird issue with your speed controller or you're not confident that something's going right, go ahead and do a factory reset and start fresh. It's a simple thing to do. It only takes a couple of seconds and it'll get you back on the track in a hurry. Thanks for watching.